Colin McRae's RED-built Cosworth Sierra was another car which had had little time for testing and from which Colin McRae could expect perhaps not very much over the next few days. Uh, I'm just really looking forward to a good smooth run, try and finish all the events we can and get some good points in and hopefully at the end of the year we're going to be in a, a good enough to position to have a go at the championship. You had a nice outing on the Audi Sport, didn't you? That's probably one of the best things we had last year. Uh, it was good to go out and beat all the rest of the two-wheel drive cars fair and square. So you're going to repeat that here on the first one of 1990? Well, the, the main aim tomorrow is just to go out and hopefully, if everything runs smoothly, a top three would be very good. Seeded number four, and rather worried about a stomach bug which very nearly prevented him from competing at all, was Colin McRae, his RED-prepared Sierra Cosworth featuring another of the Hoyle-built engines like Malcolm Wilson's, and also featuring the viscous coupling type limited slip diff. Though he had only slight acquaintance with the car, McRae showed no sign of that or his illness and was very quick, third fastest on the opening stage in fact. Shell, Number five was the Q8 team Ford of Franco Cunico, the car which, on the Cartel International, was carrying the Eurosport onboard camera, a two-inch miracle of micro-technology which all but puts you in the driving seat and gives this tremendous view of the speed and power of the Q8 Ford. What you're looking at is the impressive power of an engine reckoned to be delivering a steady 295 horsepower, adequate enough to get Cunico second quickest time of the day round the first stage, just three seconds off the pace set by Llewellyn's Securicor Toyota. Starting at number six was another will-he-won't-he -he surprise. The affable Mark Lovell, highest seeded of the Group N showroom category cars with a new Volkswagen Golf Rally 60. Yes, it's absolutely brand new, straight out of the showroom. Now, Group N is the showroom class, but this one is literally off the showroom floor, is that right? Well, it's not quite literally off the showroom floor. It's done one rally with another driver, but at that time they were literally standard road cars. We've done a little bit of work with it, but we haven't got around to sorting out springs and dampers and, and things of that nature, so there's a long way to go. There was a long way to go for everyone. Two days, 36 special stages, including some of the Yorkshire Forest punishment courses that contribute to the gritty character of the RAC, and finishing with a 19-mile marathon through Dolby Forest. Before that came some much lighter work through the short forest stages, and while Malcolm Wilson was consistently among the fastest few, he was never the fastest 